Hi everybody! So I figured I would do um, sort of like my a hair improvement type video on Raw Vegan because a lot of you guys have actually requested that I do a video on or at least show you guys what I look like with my hair down. So here you go. Um, because you guys always see me with my hair up in a ponytail or side ponytail curled or in, in a bun. And um, there's a reason for that, okay? There's a reason for, for that because um, I also just kind of wanted to talk about um, the improvements with the hair going raw vegan. So first of all, um, this hair, this hair that I've got, I have got um, thin, fine hair like my mom. And... Um, it is, I know from up to the roots all the way down, is all grown from just a fully low fat raw vegan diet because I went uh, low fat raw vegan in August 2013 and I pinpointed the last time I cut my hair and so I know all of this is grown just from purely low fat raw vegan um so just raw fruits and vegetables nuts and seeds okay guys so um that's what is happening there with my hair <laughs> but anyways um the improvements that i've seen with my hair are like really good you know <laughs> really good it's just it just seems healthier I do, it's hard to describe. Um, I know I used to get a lot of split ends before, and that's one thing that I've noticed is I don't have a lot of split ends anymore. I remember I used to have them so bad that people would comment to me so many times that Stace, you got split ends. You look at all the split ends you've got. I remember so many compliments, or not compliments, but comments like that from people around me growing up and everything and but when I went low fat raw vegan that's one thing I've noticed is no more split ends really so that's that's quite awesome that's awesome and the hair has just gotten much more just healthier but um it's not so so um excuse me blah 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 <laughs> it's not so oily either because I know I used to have really oily skin but when I went low fat raw vegan the oily skin went away and the acne disappeared that's a whole nother video too you guys um one thing I'm so happy about but that's one thing I used to have is like really oily skin and I remember seeing it in my hair but I also know it's also caused from like your the shampoo that you use so um, I used to shampoo, use shampoo in the shower every day, um, every night, but I don't anymore. It's like every other day or every two days that I use shampoo, and I'm trying to get off of shampoo, So um, and I'm trying to go to a more plant-based shampoo also. So um, that's one thing. If you guys have any recommendations on raw vegan or plant-based um, shampoo to use, let me know, guys. I'll be much interested in your suggestions and everything about that but um i know i'm trying to get off of shampoo but um for the most part i don't use shampoo any uh, a whole lot every day anymore which is wonderful and i've noticed improvements with that um but i know because uh, shampoo ha shampoo and as well as any cleaning products and stuff you guys know has a lot of chemicals in it and stuff so it's always best to go plant-based to or even just not use it at all because there's a lot of people out there I watch where they don't even use shampoo ever and I'm like what really because when I first went low fat raw vegan I was seeing people doing these no poo uh, videos and everything I'm like no poo what is this and so it's no shampoo and I'm like really and so I'm like that would be wonderful to get off of shampoo you know and it makes sense too when you start eating cleaner your body is nice and squeaky clean all over the place so there's really no need to use any products at all really you just need to rinse down once in a while you know because you're you smell so squeaky, squeaky clean there's no odor or anything and your body is just happy and and there's just it's just good it's all around good you know so anyways you guys so those are the improvements I've had with my hair and everything and um, I have for me I have a calic okay a bald spot where it kind of pushes my hair up and I get that from my dad thank you daddy thank you um, but that's okay because um, we all um, you can work with it but 
for me, I don't really know how to work with it. <laughs> so um, I do have a calic here and I kind of have a widow's peak also. And um, I think that's what that's called. And my face kind of forms a heart almost, which that's one thing I've noticed, which is pretty cool. My hair, the reason why it's always in a ponytail or in a bun is because I live up here in Alaska, guys. Okay. I was born and raised in Fairbanks, Alaska, and it's an Arctic environment, an Arctic desert basically it's super dry and my hair is always staticky because it's just it's just super dry up here and um it's just super cold too and it's mostly winter for most of the year um so out of the year many of the months are you're in winter mode and for me for my job i am an administrative assistant receptionist office assistant a little bit of everything and um, so some of you guys have asked me to share that with you guys so sharing that with you and um, so I do work in an office environment but I've been working at this place for um, and this position for eight years now and I love it because where I work is um, it's very calm relaxing atmosphere that I'm in and I'm not strapped to a desk or a computer at all um, I have a stand-up desk and so I'm always standing and for my job I'm always moving around going up and down stairs and I'm never really sitting at all I'm always moving around walking around lifting boxes helping people and everything so I get my exercise during the day and it feels really good and that's one reason why I haven't left but I also do courier runs two twice a day um, one at 10 in the morning and one at three in the three in the afternoon and then any emergency courier runs in between between. So I am always outside in the cold, okay? And um, in the summertime, it's wonderful and lovely because it's nice and warm and there's no snow or ice, so that's enjoyable. But when come, come time, winter time, it's a different story. I still enjoy leaving the office, but this is Alaska. I know how it is. I've lived here my whole life, so I know what I have to deal with. I'm not fond of it. I don't want to do it, but that's what I have to do, but I also get extra exercise that way. And um, But my gear is always coming on, being put on and taken off. So I've got the double scarves, hats, gloves. I'm all decked out with the winter gear, okay? That goes on. I go for my career runs, come back, take it all off, okay? Lunchtime, I wanna leave for the, I wanna leave and go home. So everything goes back on, and then I take everything off when I come back. Gotta do the career runs. Okay, put everything back on, then come back, take, it, take everything back off. Okay, so it's always on, on and off, on and off, on and off, all day long. And then when you go to the grocery store, you know what? I just leave everything on. And so trying to keep a darn hairdo is impossible for Miss Stace here, okay guys? It's impossible for me. Well, it's not impossible, but I mean the best I can do is a side ponytail with a nice curl and a, and a pretty scarf in there. That's as pretty as I can get in my eyes. Um, I would love to wear my hair down most of the time and in um, headbands and stuff like that, but the hair is just too staticky and it's kind of long now, but um, getting longer, but um, it just, I'd rather just have it up and out of the way, especially when you're working, it's nice to have it up and out of the way, you know, and I suppose, um, cause you know, I mean, when you're working, you just, you need it out of the way <laughs> and um so another thing is i check the cur my uh the vehicles for my department outside make sure all the ice and snow is scraped off everything's plugged in so the vehicles will start the next day because it gets so freaking cold here and so being out at when it's a zero when it's zero degrees minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 even minus 50 i'm still going out there doing courier runs and if needed and um so I'm always in my winter gear. So that's how it is for me, you guys. And then also with the clothing, you guys always see me in the same clothes because that's another thing. When you are in a cold environment, the last thing on your mind is wondering how good you look, okay? That's just not even on the radar. All you want to do is survive. Make sure you can get from A to B, you know? Just get from A to B safely and warm, okay? And survive, you know? that That's my mindset up here um, because I'm in that intense coldness, well below zero temperatures most of the time. And so it's essentially survival mode. It really is, you guys. Um, but it's that's just the way it's been since I've lived here my whole life too. But also is um, 
um, when I had my injuries, my running injuries, before I went low-fat raw vegan, um, when you're in physical pain, the last thing on your mind too is you're wondering what you should wear for the day. So I've kind of just reverted to um, just wearing the same darn thing every single day and style just I can do style and everything I can I can create some really pretty outfits and everything but I just don't wear it because I'm in Alaska it's cold I'm just got so many other things on my mind so many other things that are more important too and so I just revert to the same thing because it's easy simple and that's the way it is for Miss Stacy for guys Okay, so um, I don't know if this video helped you guys in some way. Hopefully it did, um, but maybe maybe a little, maybe just a smidgen there, guys. Um, but anyways, I'll let you guys go. Remember to love being raw. Put a big old smile on your face today, guys. I hope I did that for you guys, and I'll see you next video, okay? Bye, guys.